Hello, my name is Richard Duncan. I'm an orthopedic spinal surgeon uh, in Johnson City, Tennessee, and I've been in practice here since uh, 1994 at Watauga Orthopedics. I practice primarily uh, spinal surgery in the cervical and lumbar spine. I've created these videos in an attempt to uh, give you an overview and an idea of what a typical procedure involves. Each procedure is different, each patient is different, each pathology is different, and it's important to understand that, again, this is a typical uh, experience and uh, there's specific risk and benefits that go along with each procedure, and you and I will carefully go over that in the office and discuss each uh, procedure uh, and the risk associated with that. This short video hopefully will give you a good overview uh, regarding cervical medial branch blocks. This is a very typical procedure performed at Mountain Empire Surgery Center. Typically only takes five to ten minutes it's done with you awake. I do give you a small amount of versed in the holding area right before we do that injection. That helps uh, with muscle spasm and it also helps if there's a little bit of anxiety. It is important to bring someone with you to drive you home that uh, afternoon. I'm going to show you a video now of, of an actual procedure that was done. This patient is awake. Uh, you'll see us uh, numbing up the skin with some local anesthetics and then guiding this tiny 23 gauge needle down and performing the medial branch block. This is a pain diagram of the innervation of the cervical facet joints. This pain diagram was uh, made using healthy volunteers that had um, saline that was uh, hypertonic. It irritated the facet joints. It was injected into the joints and it caused pain in a specific pattern and this pain map was generated. This is the pain map that we use in looking at what area uh, pain occurs so that hopefully we can block uh, particular uh, areas uh, and try to improve uh, pain in the back of the neck. Obviously this is a picture in the back of the head. Some common pain patterns that I see are here with pain going down in the shoulder blade area. That would be C6-7. Pain going around the top of the shoulder uh, and onto the neck would be C5-6. And then pain primarily in the neck would be C4-5. And obviously there's some overlap sometimes and we may do two levels. For instance, if a patient's having pain in the top of the shoulder uh, area and then also down in the shoulder blade on one side we might do C5, C6, and C7 medial branch blocks. This is a model of the uh, cervical spine looking at the spine from the side. And as we turn around and look at the back side here I wanted to show you the area where we try to do our medial branch block. Um, this is the area where the, the nerve goes to the facet joint. For instance, this facet joint right here is innervated by a tiny nerve here and here. It's nowhere near the large nerves that go down to the arm. And we're guiding, by fluoroscopy, we're guiding a tiny, tiny little needle, 23 gauge, down to try to block right here and right here. Just that skin up for you there. inject in there now, you're doing great. You might feel a little something down in there, but we're right at C6 right there, okay? Doing good. Two more, does it need a little more? So 
we've got that in good position. This is a C5. We'll, uh, so we're going to inject this uh, ICP layer. See, great. Good. Nice. nice. You doing all right? Yep. Yeah. Okay, great. Almost done. Hopefully this gives you a good idea of what's involved with a medial branch block in the cervical spine. After the block that afternoon, uh, it's a good idea if you could to ice uh, that area down well. Uh, take it easy in that evening, then the next day you can be back to normal activities. Also it's important that afternoon and evening, uh, if you could make a notation of how much your pain has improved, whether it improved it at all, whether it took all the pain away, or a portion of that pain. That's going to be important as we visit again in a few weeks and talk about uh, how your neck is feeling. I wish you a full and speedy recovery.